Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty unfair where I'm trying uh, to get into footfall. Uh, it seems to be act two of the game so let's not delay that any further. Uh, make a plan fall on footfall and wait uh, uh, to complete uh, the objective. So let's see chapter one. We've done all that we can. So let's close this. Argenta uh, has something to discuss with the head of the Drusian mission and is counting on the Lord Captain support. Sure, uh, we'll do that. And classified information. Uh, to bridge the Cogiator once uh, belonging to Theodora von Valencius, Pascal is sure that it can be done to decrypt the discovered data bank. Uh, you know what? Let's do that real quick. And then we're landing on footfall. Okay, so we are on the ship. Let's try to decrypt that Lord Captain. The machine spirit uh, is in slumber. Should you awaken it, use your blood. Okay. Servitor's powerful jaws close around your hand and blood uh, springs forward. The sacred mechanism is awake and ready to receive your quests. Um, Pascal has informed me that the system has encrypted data storage. I wish to know its contains. Without any word, Tech Priest turns to the Kogiete, raises his hand in a prayer of Bin Herrick code pours um, uh, and Bin Herrick code pours out of uh, the Vox device server monitors in its bowels of the machine grow louder um, its undulant hum responding to the charm numerical combinations run down the screen uh, okay The machine spirit has discovered nu uh, discovered numerous critical errors. The data is damaged. Uh, mm, regist uh, registering an intact segment, the machine spirit has spoken the words of Kiava Gamma and uh, Dargonos hold certain data repositories. The mechanism is ready to provide the rogue trader with data keys that can unlock said rep uh, repositories. How do I accept the keys? Racist machine, machine spilling is willing to transfer the key, uh, data keys uh, to the head of the House of Valencius by means of an electro, a hypodynamic to, to augment. If you're ready to accept the keys. Okay. What data repositories? They remain hidden. The encrypted data uh, bank belong to the esteemed Theodora herself. I need to know more about the cache, uh, caches. The Messiah uh, favors you. The machine spirit is willing to commence uh, and calculation procedures that could restore the lost data. All right. Cache of uh, iocated on Draconos. Uh, the data has been restored, but it's only a single phrase. Litanies of the motor force. That is all the sacred uh, mechanism was able to salvage. And then Kiava Gamma. Uh, the data repository on Kiava Gamma has uh, shown security system guarding it. Machine Spirit has recovered code that will allow you to disable the defenses. Kiava Gamma. Okay. Alright, I, th I think... Uh, that's pretty much it. We got uh, access to one system that I don't even know uh, where that is. Certainly not the Altar Templum uh, Collexus. And it is not footfall. In which case, we're doing the exact uh, opposite. We are going to footfall. And... Uh, I need to first... Level up Iridia because Heinrich has just decided to leave us be. One moment. All right, we're back in the game. So Iridia is an operative as well. And with Cassia and Iridia, we do have two operatives, which means they can feed 
um, their actions to Argenta or and or Saiken. Also Iridia. I um, I like the divination part. I think the crowd control uh, Saiken is already doing very well. So I gave her kind of the sanctioned uh, spell casting, which now broadens her spectrum uh, to party buffing as well. If I was to rebuild uh, Saiken later down the road, and if Redia for whatever reason <clears throat> ends up to uh, continue being in our team, then I think since uh, she always starts with divination and uh, with um, the crowd controlling sphere, then we should really stick with that. And um, yeah, I'll pick something else with Saiken, maybe the sanctified and pur uh, purification. Um, I also like biomancy, but so far uh, healing hasn't really been that great. I was hoping for a little bit more. The welcome procession is not particularly long. You meet a woman with a clearly expensive implants. She bows in a solemn courtesy rogue trader. Footfall welcomes you on behalf of the League Lord uh, Vladam uh, Tokara. Allow me to express my joy for your arrival. The League uh, awaits you at his residence. Or is it Liege? I think it's Liege. The Liege awaits you at his residence. But should you have other business to conduct on the station, I will be honored to serve as my guide. Um, Cassia is like, this is so familiar behind the amber colored scattering of the words of welcome, far less appealing, hues lurk, murky and diluted. Uh, the look of someone accustomed to lying and hiding their intention. All right, Avalard sighs and casually places his hand on his weapon. What is the situation at Footfall? There are certain problems, your lordship, but the Liege uh, can acquaint you with that far better than I can do. Uh, behind her polite soft tone, you detect uh, the slight hint of nervousness. You really should be talking uh, with Liege about that. I'm just... Hey, and there you go. Fantastic. It wouldn't be a welcome if we wouldn't be completely shot to pieces um, when arriving somewhere. The absurdity of your struggle amuses me. Fabulous. Oh, Fabulous. Okay, for starters, let's get into a combat position. Abelard uh, wants to move in. Our main damage dealers should be standing here. And very much here. Iridia follows over here. You know what? Iridia can stay there. I'm just wondering, did I upgrade her equipment? Sort of. I gave her Sin Skin and their dark vitality amulet but i think we got a better one oh it's the exact same one but she does have a life draining sword and she does have two different staves uh, one with lightning arc and one with um, the diviner staff that has consign uh, remind me real quick, consign uh, the target's next hit will be an automatic critical hit. Ah, that's not that great. Might want to give her a nice little sniper rifle. 
or something that she can do in melee. But we can do that after that combat. Uh, finally, Pasco does Pasco things and uh, goes over here. Let's start the battle. Cool. So, couple of uh, options. For starters, uh, we are uh, now having our new abilities, right? The Grand Strategist abilities. The Grand Strategist marks an area. Uh, the front line, all allies in the front line gain a bonus to armor and enemies suffer more damage from any source. I think that'll be a perfect place for front line. My vow is to serve. Then we do have a back line. Um, all allies gain cover and dodge reduction. Can we turn that around? Not really. Well, it's sort of from his perspective, right? So, I get it. Let's give the ladies here a bit of a support. Cool. And then we do have a rear. And the rear... All allies uh, deal 15% more damage with ranged attacks and get uh, over penetration. Well, that's maybe something we can do here. Running by Eric override. Okay, cool. I like where this is going. Puts everybody into an analysis. <clears throat> That's great. Then... Will that remove cover? Let's see. It really doesn't matter. Because he has just removed all of these guys. Um... And we're give, giving ourselves a great position. Well, Pascal is brutal. So now we got the same ordeal over here. Front line there. Back line seems to be fine. I will uh, say though... Let's put the psychic abilities on the bottom one and <clears throat> the other abilities on the top one. Um, still don't have that extra turn. Am I missing something? Yeah, I wonder... We don't have infused turns. What's wrong with her as an operative? And why does Cassia have... Bring it down? So do not all officers gain bring it down? I'm confused. Keystone feature for officer. Bring it down, voice of command. And here the keystone feature is analyze enemy. Oh, that's, uh, sorry. Operator, I mixed up operative with officer. Never mind. All right. 
Never mind. Okay, well, still not bad. I mean, uh, the analysis stuff typically st uh, mm, sticks. Or stacks, rather. And look at her damage output. That's not bad either. Anything is. Very nice. Okay. We'll do. As Listen, the Emperor that I act. Plus that. I'll do plus it. that. The and then that. And a couple extra hits. Argenta's doing well. Uh, she's actually doing very well. These two are were armored characters. to <clears throat> bring myself into troublesome p uh, position. Bloodstained Amalia. She seems to be the one responsible for all of that mess. So maybe we can just get her in. Why do I have a Herald Servitor School? Why? What? The Serv uh, Servo School is designed to spread the glory of and splendor of the mighty owner. Okay, it does not do anything. Anyways, good. I think... We're just going to shoot a couple of uh, the guys in the back line. Let's go with 70%. Seems legit. A blood soaked tribute. I then we're doing that. Triumph. And we now do have a class where this uh, versatility stack goes up, which means we want to make sure that we're using different step abilities. Closer. So did that increase versatility? Word of the Emperor, yes. Versatility, no. Right, cool. Look out. My purpose empowers me to prevail. Die, die, die. I the Another color has faded. Whoa. Okay, not cool. Uh yeah. There are more enemies coming from here. This gal is by far the most dangerous of them. Uh, and I have to wonder how about we're just increasing that. And a little bit of that. Not a servitor. And then we're giving an action over to Argenta. If you insist, Lord Captain.
As the Emperor commands, I act. Okay, if we were to... Uh, that would deal too much damage to, our, uh, to us. I'll do it. Okay, Abelard. We need to get to her immediately. Uh, Abelard moves into Try the center here. Tactics are the best ones. I will do my duty. Braces for impact. It will be done. We're taking her. Indeed. We're taking all of them. Making ourselves control. less affected by what they are doing, and <laughs> we're hitting, and we're hitting very hard. I can't, still can't believe that they just one shot Pascal. I'm here, maggot. <laughs> It's great to see just how well taunting works, as in it doesn't work at all. They who discern the future on the battlefield. I'm not so sure. Alright, if we were to hit you, that's a lot of damage. I like that. But I also like healing myself, so we are in a bit of a trouble. And in case of doubt, use something defensive. That is not my destiny. What? Was that you? Or... Injuries will not slow me. Argenta slightly moves back. As the Emperor commands, this is why I was chosen. Gets good sniping off, but yeah, these guys are strong. I've suffered worse. Let's get to it. Cassia moves up. Isn't this a job for the serfs? It's a nice little stare. Should have maybe debuffed herself uh, beforehand. And uh, heals everybody uh, around them. Follow my lead. Sworn enemy. I'd rather not. It will be done. I will do my duty. And everybody should attack him. I hate it when uh, they are passing the will point uh, test because that's when people are dying. And the game is definitely picking up in terms of pace. A 
anything is. What fortunate turn of fate. Great hit. Thank you. Healing ourselves. Listen, I could move to here and then just simply hit these guys. They do have shotguns, so it's an uncomfortable position. And they are going right after us, so the answer is no. Concentrated fire. And let's go. As the let's kill. Commands, Move. I act. And we're at uh, four stakes of versatility. That is not the Emperor's Don't touch will. me. Emperor, protect me. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Melee. I have read tomes of military tactics. Me. If you insist, Lord. Captain. It will be Kills one. I'm not interested. At your back and call. Someone else can do this. And moves up. Victory is imminent. Indeed. Ah, barely. Barely not. Dead yet. Show me what you've got. More enemies means more honor. In particular, it means more damage. But of course. On it. All right. Uh... I was to move to here and then nope if I was to move to here and then that'll not be bad let's I do that this fury. I'll do it Okay, so we need to alpha strike even more. We need to alpha strike even more. Servant Emperor Protect, they killed, killed every time I warned them. And they all go, the Emperor, our Lord and Savior, how could this happen? Who would have thought? If you're not, we took care of the attackers. Do you know who they were? Those guys were an uh, those guys were Envers. They're a gang. They're the worst. I'm telling you. 
Uh, does the thing happen often around here? Shooting, yes. Attacking nobles, not. Go and report to the leash. And we served a very, very nice ass whooping uh, to them, which I'm happy that we did. Got flag armor, which we do not need. What else do we have? Chainsaw, we don't need that either. That, on the other hand, is nice. Uh, good old mega shotgun. Might be interesting. So who can wear shotguns is the question. Um... Well, it seems like an Abelard topic to me. Yeah, that, that's a crazily high de uh, DPS uh, weapon. I like what I'm seeing, but it is indeed crazy. All right, let's refill some of our lost material. What is that? Consumable. It doesn't do anything. Okay, why not? I mean, yeah, we don't need uh, grenades anyways. Might as well take that in. Okay, my biggest uh, gripe with the last combat was that we really messed, uh, messed it up. Um, as in positioning. That was not good. Okay. I am considering... What we can do better. And I'm also considering giving... Uh, mm, giving Iridia a better second weapon. That uh, staff that just uh, allows the enemy to uh, be crit, that's no bueno. So we heal the wounds here, this staff. I mean, it's nice, but yeah, not really good. Rather take a life draining sword for melee attacks if needed. Combined with a precise laser pistol, that's not the worst. And that is not the worst at all. Okay, cool. So, I think she, with her lightning arc, is still doing a very respectable amount of damage. Uh, the combination of uh, sniper and modified bolter are working well so far. We've never used the arc rifle. Uh, mm. We've never used the arc rifle really. And then finally, Saiken. Sniper is good. Uh, the telepathy staff is pretty not good. I much rather would like to see if the charge staff is any better. And we wanted to also double check the Pyromancer staff. Uh, Inferno. Uh, isn't uh, isn't bad at all in terms of his skills with Iridia together we have a doubling down on the whole uh, on the whole shrieking that's not I mean the dominate uh, part is great but I don't like the doubling down on uh, the doubling on the shrieking uh, that's not that's really not good so that part I unfortunately can't change, but um, it would be good if if uh, we had a solution for that. Um, I will try to respec Iridia 
and we'll see if that um, pro provides uh, provides a a better archetype. Um, the grand strategist is good, but uh, the operative I think not so much. I I will see whether or not I can respec her um, into uh, something else. You know what? I thought about it. I don't want to do the whole respecking uh, thing. I'll just learn more about the game before making any definitive uh, moves. We're back uh, with footfall and. Let's start uh, with the base dock. All right, a second time. Let's try to not mess it up this time. Good, we're being greeted uh, by a servitor. Servitor school uh, delivered a strange invitation to the Lord Captain, inviting to a meeting about something. Uh, we're going to do one at a time for now. I would like to be clear that this here is our approach. The world and let's go. I tread a path unexplored. Five functionary Morbius uh, Cavalli. Okay, a lot of bureaucracy. The world trembles beneath that's my what I'm feet. seeing here. But that's also not completely unheard of in the Imperium. Predictable. A bitter taste of defeat. Wow, there is plenty of loot here. Power. I seem to be missing a lot. No wonder if it is that small. What are the, all of these? We need no rules or leaders. Um, Okay, so those are rebellious pamphlets. Three, five, four, one. Interesting. I didn't even know the code. Cyclist footwear. These boots grant the wearer three percent dodge bonus combat for each psi power they use. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, these goggles uh, grant the wearer uh, five bonus lore. Uh, Xenos and uh, hit chance against Xenos and a couple of multi keys. Also, auto pistols and auto guns which we already decided we don't want so in terms of uh, the psi power i think you are uniquely positioned to get that because you're using a lot of psi powers And for you, 
as much as I like the dogmatic um, options, I think I think we uh, need a bit of a better hit chance with her. 15% critical chance to ranged enemies, that's fine. 5% uh, bonus, 10% against Xenos. Uh, he does have hit chance and crit chance. I think we're giving him that. Uh, Saigon looks way cooler with it. And we're having hit chance and crit chance on our sister. Since she's a damage dealer, that makes sense. Being immune to critical hits, that uh, makes sense for Cassia. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I like the critical hit chance for low hit point targets, but we just don't have anyone who does not have a better helmet. So, unfortunately, no show. Good, but that's decent loot. I can definitely see that the game is trying to give you better and better loot over time. Go to their homes, drag them out of their beds, carve open uh, their bodies like carcasses at the slaughterhouse. Go and seize the power. Why Why are there Let's these uh, pamphlets the here? Don't understand that. The voyage uh, through the Arch Enemies realm. May the Emperor of Drusus and the warriors guide our feet. Okay. Favor Small altar, the central spot has been uh, given to Drusus, a saint from the neighborhood. Okay. It's interesting how the Emperor always wanted mankind to never uh, believe in any form of gods, and then they now call him the God Emperor. I tread a path unexplored. Good. Couple of aristocrats up here. Powers unseen uncover my path. All right. Where do we want to go? We got uh, just the rest of footfall, really. Wait, here is a conversation option, Opticon 22. Trying to not miss out on stuff. Alright, Tall Tech Priest. Initiating identification procedures as unit is defined as Logic Opticon 22. It is fully authorized to represent um, of the cognizant fleet of the priesthood of uh, the Adaptus Mechanicus. Uh, initiating official br greeting procedure. Uh, and there is a little bit that we can trade, sure. What do you like? Uh, holy gifts, heretic trophies, chip compartments, mechanicus creations. Holy gifts, chip compartments, uh, chip components, sorry, mechanicus creations, even better. Uh, there you go. Um, armor kits are liked as well, and you're in luck, my dude, because we have plenty of armor kits. There you go. They don't like weapons that much, and I'm not about to give away our good stuff here for too little 
impact. Also, can't really get any of uh, that. We can get a couple of med kits. Great. We get deflection gloves. These gloves allow the wearer to parry melee attacks with their ranged weapon using ballistic skill instead of the weapon skill. That's cool. That's very good. Then we got stim pack. Use immediately gains four uh, movement points and four action points for the next turn. Uh, it is reduced, however. Fantastic. I like that. Targeting destination. Whenever a wearer hits an enemy with a dead eye shot, reduces enemy's deflection and applies one exploit. Sticks up to three times. And we cannot get anything else, so might as well not trade uh, with you at the moment. Uh, who could benefit from that many extra AP? I would uh, say you. There you go. Also, who can benefit from blocking with their ranged attack? Mm -hmm. You know what? You can. Uh, you could actually. That's a fantastic option. Because your ballistic skill is higher than the melee skill. Uh, whenever you hit, uh, get an exploit. Hmm. And the deflection re uh, reduces. That is important. But not as important as effectively hitting enemies. So I wonder if we want to take... Oh, it's a ring. Never mind. Cool. Yeah, that's good gear. Good gear, my dudes. I like it. I didn't want even want to spoil uh, the other uh, gear, the better stuff. But... That, that's indeed some intriguing gear. And with that, I think, uh, guys, it's a great uh, place for Cliffhanger. Thanks a lot for watching. Truly appreciate you. And uh, if you want to trade a like, uh, just click on the like button. Uh, that always helps the channel. Take care, have a good one, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.